Kim's car was hit. Two cops are down. She was taken. What? Yeah. Should have just kept her in jail, you guys. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. Did you hear that sound? Boop. 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 It's time for 24. Sweet. The Jack Bauer Power Hour. Oh, yeah. And what happened last week on 24? Do you remember? I remember. I just don't remember. Kim was doing some stuff. Got out of that house, I think. She got arrested. That's right. The drug That's bust. right. She got arrested. She got arrested. Which is really actually beneficial for her. Think so. Because she's safe and yeah, safe in jail. Safe in jail right now. Oh, that jail looked pretty rough. I, safer in jail than wherever the fuck she's at with assassins trying to get her. Okay, that's true. Her mom almost died. Tony saved Tony, the day. Tony saved the day there, right at the last second. Yeah. Shot the assassin just as he was about to pull the trigger on Terry. Yep. What's going um, on with Palmer? He was eating dinner. Yeah. But uh, what do you tell Sherry? Do you remember? Oh, he's getting a divorce for sure. Think so? Well, maybe not, but he's definitely never going to love her again. Yeah. She tried to destroy the tape and she faked her out. She is unlovable. Yeah. What's Jack up to, though? He's trying to do he something. Oh, he, he found a, a hidden jail. Yeah, and he ran into a familiar face. Yeah, he ran into the, uh, one of the guys, the assassins. Yeah, the uh, the guy. What the fuck's his name? I don't know. Drazen? Drazen, thank Who you. Who is the actor, though? Oh, um, who, oh, Dennis Hopper. Yeah, crazy Dennis Hopper mm -hmm. is Victor Drazen. Yeah. And uh, right at the very end, the lights went out, and Victor goes, they're here. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get, get him out of there before. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see how this jailbreak goes? God, please, because that was the worst recap ever. <laughs> Your, your memory's horrible. It's really bad. Almost as bad as Terry's a couple episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I might have amnesia. <laughs> uh, but first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for 24. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Want commentary access to pull up as people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. <laughs> we also have Twitter and Instagram. You know. You know. If she remembers those. Sometimes she forgets. All the time. Let's watch 24. Here we go. The following takes place between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. on the day of the California presidential primary. America's choice. You're in my seat. She's gonna try to beat her ass for stealing her boyfriend. I said that's my seat. Best way to defuse the situation? Do you got your nose. 83% approve of the way you handle the Ferragamo situation. Oh, boy, that is great. It's, it's pretty good news. We're all too busy running for cover. We don't want to get cocky, but so far. Yeah, being outside on a balcony when you're being hunted doesn't seem like the greatest idea. And I just want to give one last order which will be obeyed with no exceptions whatsoever. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the evening. He's a great candidate. The best. All right, I'll call division. Forget about division. By the time you get approval, this whole thing will be over. If Victor Drazen escapes, it'll be our fault. George, you know what this man can do. You decide. Well, as fast as the division units get there, <laughs> You're screwed anyways, because it took him like 25 minutes to get one to the freaking water tower yeah. five episodes ago. It was way longer than 20 minutes. It was like two episodes. <laughs> and picking up Almeida on the rebound. What's that about? Hey, that is out of line. No, you're out of line. Think about it. He sounds jealous. I need to know what's going on with my family. I know, and I promise I'll give you an update as soon as I have one. Kim's in jail. She's fine. Tell that one girl decides to get really mean. All right. What's the plan? How are they going to break you out of here? 
You son of a bitch, if any of my men die. What area of this building is most defendable? Not that Not word. that one. <laughs> I'm freezing. Don't. That makes me cold. Oh, I thought I had warm breath. I've been trying to get a hold of Chappelle for the last ten minutes. Look, whatever he's doing, this is more important. Trust me. Well, for starters, I sent a CTU field unit over to a DOD facility. What is he doing? Sending some sort of unit? Trying to warn the DOD? No, uh -huh. Chappelle. Why can't he answer his phone? Who's Chappelle? We met him earlier. He's the priest from Sopranos. Hmm. That's Ryan Chappelle. I want you to know Jack is extremely important to all of us here, and nobody's going to rest easy until your daughter's back with you, safe and sound. Thank you. Do me a favor. Keep your chin up, all right? That was George Mason's best moment of the day, I think. Keep your chin up? Oh. Reassuring Terry that everything's okay. Mm. Whatever. I don't care what you do with her. Just keep her out of my face, okay? <laughs> He put on a short-lived, <laughs> short-lived moment. A uh, senator? Yes, ma'am. There's um something I've been wanting to tell you, but every time I start, it just seems inappropriate. What is it? It probably is then. I wanted to tell you how much I admire you. I don't see very many people who stand by their principles the way that you do. And I truly believe our country would be a better place with you leading it. Groupie. Hmm? She's a good groupie. Those are the words that his wife should have said. Right? Groupies. Are the hostiles inside? There must be. No activity here. We're preparing to go in. See, the guys that helped Jack at the water tower were from Division. These guys are from CTU. That's why they got there faster. Mm. They don't have to cut the red tape. I'll give you three seconds. One, two. The weapon's up. No, no. Should have known that was going to happen, Bauer. Duh. Resume. Now they're gonna kill you too, dude. Take him. We may need him as a bargaining chip. <laughs> Sad to see Lou Diamond Phillips go. We cool if you and your girls back off. Oh, I thought she gave her a titty twister. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> What, you never seen nobody give them a titty twister? Purple nurple? You think I care about that loser? He's not a loser. He kidnaps you, almost gets you killed, and you defend him? Yeah, that's weird. You take all the bad luck you've had in your entire life, it wouldn't fit into half of what's happened to me in the past 24 hours. So messing me up may not be as easy as you think, but if you want to try, bring it on. Here, outside, any place you like. <laughs> She's Jack's daughter. <laughs> oh, her knuckles look gross. Uh -huh. Do you want to see him alive again? How do I know he's alive? George. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of sick of them. They're heavily armed. They've got assault rifles. They're gone. As you hear, he is alive. Jack didn't waste any time. Just gave him intel. It's going to be a long, drawn-out process, Nina. I know the drill. And you know it may not turn out well. Any word from Chappelle? I still can't get a hold of him. The bastard doesn't plan on blaming me if things go wrong. Is Chappelle dead? <laughs> Probably went over to the Sopranos for dinner or something. Yeah, they won't smell the fucking pot in the air. Oh, you're coming with me. She's 
telling the truth. Don't make a liar out of me, Blondie. No need. You are one. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> I want to talk to the cop who busted me today. I think his name is Krugman. You want to talk to him about what? What happened today? He wants to know about it, so tell him that I'm ready to talk. Kim looked out for her, even though she's been mean to her all day. I should have been more careful. <laughs> This is the day you accept your share. Jack looks like he just got punched by Drago. <laughs> uh, would you like to be left alone? No, you can work in here if you want. I, this feels uncomfortable. This feels like a human resources issue. Huh? They are human resources. Writing speeches isn't taking care of someone. I'm fine, Pat. She's going to be giving him a massage here in a second. Oh, this is so gross. Just relax. You need this. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that does feel good. This is not going to look good, though. If I get too comfortable, I may not get off this couch. Yeah, well, uh, I'll just go prepare tomorrow's briefing with Mike. What? What do you think you meant by that? I don't know. I think you're just going to fall asleep. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> but still. Now we have to end this thing, and I'm not talking hours, I'm talking minutes. What about an hour? Nobody asked him to go out there tonight. Get on with it, or I'll find someone who will. Well, we know they don't kill him. Because there's eight more seasons or Most some shit like, like a that. robot jack. Oh yeah, definitely. A robot jack. We think he may have been captured by the same group that was after you and Kim. I know that sounds bad. I know, Jack. I know he will get out of this. Dead or alive. <sighs> Don't worry, you're pregnant with this baby. Is Jack gonna get out of this, though? Yeah, of course he is. There's next season. Oh. Are they gonna get Drazen? Not sure. I lean towards no. Would you do me a favor, David? What's that? Like? Smile. <laughs> Not a politician smile, a real one. You've been through hell today. But you've come through it. He needs a freaking nap. It's hard to <laughs> smile when you're tired. If it's your marriage that helps you, that's great. But if not, well, that's okay, too. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go. Yeah, they'll put Sherry in the East Wing. It's fine. You won't ever have to see her again. Just give her the Lincoln bedroom, she'll be happy. <laughs> Craig. It's booby trapped. Laser mines. Can you disarm? Given time. How much? A oh, long time? About a half hour. They'll be to friggin' wherever they came from by then. Father, we have less than three hours left. Get down! <clears throat> wait, wait, wait! Less than three hours for what? You already got your dad out. Until they finish their plan. Your son Alexis. Do you want to see him again? Alexis is dead. No, he's not. We've got him. You are lying. We captured him. I know where he is. Didn't he die? 
No, he's at the clinic. I thought he died at the clinic. Mason huh? went to talk to him because he was waking up. That's why he oh, left. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hello? Hey, Mom, it's me. Hi, honey. Can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you either. I'm so glad you're okay. I thought... I... How did you end up in jail? I'll tell you everything when I get there. Where's I went to that? Rick's house. They had a drug bust. Listen, I'm real sorry about not believing you at first. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure if I believe it myself. <gasps> Watch out! Seriously? How could they have possibly known? How could they have known that? How could they have known that? Uh, they couldn't have. Fucking TV magic. TV magic. Mm -hmm. Well, Kim was safer, safer in jail. CTU didn't even know she was in jail until that one guy called. Huh? They were taking her back to CTU. CTU's still in on it? They've got more moles? Hmm. Well, Jack's captured by the Drazens. Mm-hmm. And judging by that red van... Kim will be, Kim's too. Kim's captured by the Drazens, too. So it just leaves Terry and Palmer. Sweet. Palmer's about to do a public national speech for victory night. Yep. So what's on your mind after that? Not much. Not much? No. No? We've got three hours left. Yeah. How's this all going to end? Honestly, it's fizzling for me a bit. It's fizzling for you? Wow. Well, like, they, they, so much shit has already happened that it's like, all right, well, what, what else could happen? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that could probably happen. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, the next three hours should be uh, the best. Fizzling. Three hours of the, the show. The best fizzling Keep ever. going. Best fizzling ever. Can't wait to see how it fizzles. Okay. Wow, Debbie Downer tonight. No, I just, like, what else could they do? What else could they do? How many times can you steal and kidnap the same people <laughs> over and over again? Well, that was the terrorist plan for the day. Apparently five. You kidnap the same person five times. I've been trying to get Kim all day. So. All right, let's watch the next one. You ready to watch some more 24? Oh, yeah. Well, let's watch some more 24. Let's do it. Understand the show. What? It's so annoying to me. That she just got kidnapped again? Yeah. Okay. How would they fucking know? They couldn't know. Alright. Unless Nina's fucking working with them. Boop. It's just push play. takes place between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. What's fun about this hour? It was it was real time for when you were watching the show. Okay? At so 9 o'clock. Kim's just like, seriously? The look, in, the look in her eye was like, this is it. I can't be, I can't escape anymore. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to die this time. Odds are not in my favor. And when we look back at this amazing time, we can all say that we were a part of history. We can all say that we did our part to make this world a better place. Let Sherry wear her best Jackie O pantsuit. Mm. Or just suit. Impeccable. Bright pink. CT Myers. Hey, that's me. Jack, where are you? I'm with Andre and Victor Trace. What do you mean? Where? We're hanging out. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. You got a movie recommendation? <laughs> I am willing to trade the life of Jack Bauer for that of my son. Do not negotiate with terrorists. Make that trade. If you do not have the authority, you are not the head of anything. Talk to your superiors. No. <laughs> He's not wrong there. David and I could use a couple of days apart. But I don't want him we to feel alone, not, okay? We will not relent. Whatever you because want. Because for us... Gross. You understand what was happening last episode a little bit better now? She's trying to fucking make, make her the... side girl. So they're just gonna sacrifice Jack? Yeah. 
He's like all the rest of us. You need a blanket. Spendable. Yeah, I do. I've been telling you that for the last hour. <laughs> I'm freezing. They don't want to draw attention to the situation. End of story. Oh, brown blanket. So classy looking. <laughs> Like a giant wrap it all the turd. way around you. <laughs> I'm freezing. Well, you are a giant turd, so <laughs> the shoe fits. Or the blanket, in this you case. look like the poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I think of you sometimes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just full of it. I never did hear what happened with her. She was arrested by mistake. Listen, Terry... Kim's fine. She's not fine, though. Jack's been captured. He's being held hostage. We're doing everything we can to bring really him back. I really wish there was, like, a Find Your Friends app. Back then? Back then. This guy, Drazen, wants to trade Jack for his son, Alexis, who we have. Well, then he'll be okay, right? No. The government won't make the trade. They do not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Jack's on his own. He's they, creative. He'll figure something out. Have they out. pressed charges on Alexis, though? I mean, they didn't really arrest him. He was taken in because he was stabbed. Right? Yeah. What kind of charges are they going to... If he's not a criminal, they can just trade him. Right? I mean, he is a criminal, but if they don't have something to charge him with... They don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't care how much it costs or how many men you need. We're out of here by midnight. Is that when their, their like visas expire? Midnight? They got to be out of there by midnight? Or they'll be detained at the airport. <laughs> no good. That is no good. <laughs> Where's my fresh clothes for you? Whenever you're ready. Why would they take his hood off? <sighs> would you like something to eat, Jack? You could talk to him. With an ordinary agent, I'd agree with you. Jack's got a special forces background. I've seen him do the impossible. Stop patronizing me, Mr. Mason. You've been doing it all night. Just tell me what you are prepared to do to help my husband. Well, he was talking to some guy on the phone trying to convince him otherwise, but you disrupted that. I'm going to ask them to reconsider one more time, and they're going to say no. And that'll be the end of it. Anything else? He's going to start talking to you like he talks to his employees. <laughs> we are family. Oh. All my brothers, sisters, and me. Woo! Dancing poop emoji. He's willing to trade Jack for his son, Alexis. What's DOD's response? They're refusing to get directly involved. All right, who's actually talking to Drazen? George Mason. Look, I'm going to make a few calls first. Where can I reach Mason? Here at CTU. He's in Jack's office. What's Palmer going to do? Pull some political strings. Yeah. Butter some buns. I think Mason can get his buns buttered. Toast the balls. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kim's car was hit. Two cops are down. She was taken. What? Yeah. Should have just kept her in fucking jail, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me know what you find out. Tony's going to have to shoot somebody else to save Kim now. <laughs> I mean... He single-handedly saved Terry. <laughs> After every other agent died. <laughs> Terry, I'm sorry. Do you mind waiting in the conference room? Sure. Thanks. They're talking classified information. I can't. They grabbed Kim again. What? It must have been Drazen. <laughs> if I was going to be like, how is this fucking possible? I don't believe this. <laughs> you going to tell her? She already thinks you're incompetent, so you might as well. She might lose her memory again. Yeah. <laughs> so true. I don't have the authority to pull the trigger on this one. From what I'm told, Mr. Mason, that authority is something you'd like to have someday. What's that supposed to mean? Act on your own prerogative. Go through with the trade. You'll be reprimanded. Possibly even demoted. They're going to toast your balls, but he'll butter your buns later. <laughs> right? 
And if you don't get elected? That's not going to happen. Think about it, George. Risk the toasted balls with buttered buns, right? Yeah. Mason already earlier said, well, it looks like he's going to be our next president. It was my mother's recipe. Drop the weapons! Drop the weapons! You son of a bitch! One more death for you to come for, Jack. How could you do this? He's got no subconscious. He doesn't care. Subconscious. He's a monster. Thank you. I'm an idiot sometimes. Why? So I just say really stupid shit that what? is not accurate at all. I don't even know what you said. I It wasn't smart. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say conscience. I said subconscious. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Some nights... Should overlay a poop emoji on me. <laughs> Dancing poop emoji. That's <laughs> all I ever see every day. You need to make an impression, not phone calls. I know what I have to do, Sherry. Do you really? Don't talk down to me, Sherry. This I don't blanket like it. is so dirty on the inside. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like her snack blanket or something. She eats her <laughs> snacks on it. Stuck my finger in a graham cracker, I think. Get to work. Don't you love being told what to do? But don't you look gorgeous tonight? Oh, you've seen this before. It's not just the dress. Palmer. Ugh. She works for you! Why don't you meet me upstairs and say... Five minutes. Sure. She better put on some more deodorant. <laughs> yeah, by any stretch. Yeah, hopefully his anger takes over and he kills Victor himself. You killed my daughter. You murderer. You. What do you think? Yelling at him was gonna do something? Well, Jack knows they have Kim now. Who are they gonna trade Kim for? I don't know. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I mean, what do you think? Will he be safe? I think so. Victor wants his son back, so I don't think he'll pull anything. <laughs> I appreciate your being upfront with me about everything. Ugh, you're gonna have to go back in there and tell her like Kim's now kidnapped again. <laughs> She's gotta prepare that speech now though. She's got time to pretend like she doesn't know yet. You're not thinking this through, Andre. You have a chance to get out of this country with your brother and your father alive. You start killing innocents, they'll never let you go. Your best tactic right now, Mr. Power, is to be quiet and let my father rest. Victor must be very tired. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. What are we drinking to? They're drinking to flat champagne. Didn't bubble hardly at all. It's probably just like apple juice. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Pat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. You're flirting with her, too. It's gross. Tell Mike I want to meet with him on this first thing in the morning. I want you there. Call Everly. Someone from legal should be there too. Done. It wouldn't hurt to put in a little more FaceTime downstairs. Mm. I think you might be right. Shall we? You think he was flirting with her? He's using a lot of self-restraint, but yeah, he's definitely flirting with her. Think there's ever been anybody else? No. <laughs> Probably. They, they were probably on a break at some point. Yeah. Ouch. What do you want me to do? Just 
chill. What do they want him to do? Just chill. Chill there. Hang out. They just want to kill Kim. Yeah. So that he, Bauer can feel the pain that Victor felt. Or some shit like that. I'm so excited, too. Me, too. I just can't hide it, though. I can tell. What's the problem, Patty? I thought you liked David. This shouldn't be a tough assignment. I do like him. She probably wants to catch you in the act so she can blackmail him or something. But I know my husband better than anybody. And he needs someone like you right now. But it's going to lead to other things, Mrs. Pullman. Well, we'll just deal with that when the time comes. Oh, cherries. <clears throat> She's so weird. <laughs> She's a politician's wife. She put that little stick back in her drink. That was symbolism. Swords and cherries. Uh -huh. She's going to let his sword go into her cherry. Oh, yeah. Except for... She just ate her cherry. What goes around comes around. <laughs> yes, unless this is her. Well, no fucking shit. <laughs> we have Jack's daughter. You must know that by now. What about the daughter? It's not my concern. All right, move back to the perimeter. We're going to have to let him go. But we're just letting them keep all the control. <laughs> Don't really have a choice with uh, Kim captured, though. Yeah, I have him. They got a tracker. Turns out they're professionals at this, so. They found the tracker. We lost him. Should have put it up his butt. <laughs> it's the only. It's the only way. Oh. Although I suppose he might realize that the tracker's up there and just tell them. Yeah, make him eat it at first. Yeah. Want to see him alive? Talk to no one. Get into it. Head to Centricity. Wait, wait. They kept their word. That's weird. Oh boy. They told him to head to Century City. What do they want him to do? What's in Century City? Well, Century City is kind of uh, kind of downtown L.A. What could be there? I don't know. Hmm. What could be there? A Hollywood Walk of Fame? No, that would be in Hollywood. Isn't Hollywood in L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> so you think they want them to go to Hollywood? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, the Drazens got all... The whole trio of Drazens are reunited. And, uh, Just about, yeah. Kim's captured. Mm-hmm. And they want Jack to do something so the, to release Kim. And we got two hours Kill Palmer. before midnight. You think that's the the thing? He's, he's going to have to eliminate Palmer in order to save his daughter? I think so. I don't know. I think you're onto something. I mean, that's... That might be. I mean, their goal was to kill Jack and Palmer and Jack's family, so... Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, Sherry's got a nice little... Uh, you know, young lady for her husband to... Mm. Don't know the... I don't know what she's trying to do there, but... Like, catch him in the act so he, she has something to blackmail Either him that or just keep him distracted, but... Or hope that someday somebody notices and there's a, a media story about something. it. Something, I don't know. People she's sympathize a, with her. She's a weird lady. On. She's a weird lady. There's a lot of things that could be going through her mind. Yeah. Right? How is she going to use that? Well, I can't wait for next week. Can't wait for next week. See how it all wraps up. The finale. Mm -hmm. I thought you said it was fizzling. Yeah. That episode didn't. Can't wait to see how it fizzles out. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it's got to be. They, they've got to be setting it up so that Jack's going to have to kill Palmer. You think so? Well, there's more. Now that Palmer is the Democratic nominee for yeah. president, he's an important he's very, person. He's, he's a big wig. So he's moving up the they've ranks. got more to gain by killing him than Kim. Yeah. <laughs> right? Maybe. Maybe. If they kill Kim, they break Jack's heart. If they kill Palmer, they potentially break the, you know... U.S. government. Yeah, a lot of people would be sad. Okay. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Glad you guys could hang out with us. Yeah. What should people comment on? Uh, Does she look like the poop emoji? Yeah, tonight? right? Do, do I look like do the poop like emoji? like your brown, brown blanket? It's the only thing that saved me. I was freezing. Yeah. Still cold without it on. But. Just turn up the heat. Mm-hmm. Can't stand the kitchen. That's not how that works. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for the finale of season one of 24. Ooh, boy. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to pull-ups, pick-up, watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.